What's going on guys? It's Seth and today I am going to show you how to download and install Fantasy Star Online Blueburst so that you can connect yourself to the SCHT hack server. I actually looked up how to pronounce that because I used to pronounce it differently. Well, actually, I probably still will pronounce it the same way I have been, but I would normally say shit hack. And, uh, I guess that's not the best pronunciation, but, um, I looked it up on the forums and it said SCHT hack was the proper way. It has to do with the Smurfs in French or something like that, and obviously hack is hack. But it's a private server for PSO, and, um, you know, the uh, official servers went down a few years ago, I think. Well, not a few, actually, like, probably going on to almost ten. Let me just look down here at the news. Well, that could be newer news. But yeah, look at that. Server production and hosting, 2003. So almost ten years. I wonder if they'll do something for next year. But anyways... Um, I went ahead and opened up the links in tab, so in case anything goes wrong, we already got it. So what's going to happen is very easy. You go to this website here, schtserve.com. You click download. Download will take you here. You got a couple of things to look at. You actually do not need these. You don't need the patch. For uh, Japanese items, you don't need the patch for offline mode, I believe, um, or the keyboard map. And you don't want to download the PSO PC clients. This is version two of PSO. Um, if anything, I would compare it to the Dreamcast version. Um, now there are people that are still playing the PSO uh, PC version. I tried it out a little bit. Um, a few years ago and it's it's cool it's interesting to see what PSO used to be like but it's uh it's not blue burst but anyways blue burst is here you get the very first one and it says uh, you will not need to download or install any of the following unless you have are using a fresh USO USO Wow US PSO BB installer I just drank like this weird energy drink. It's called Purple Stuff. And uh, it's got me talking faster than I'm thinking for some reason. It does say calm down, relax the body, and focus the mind. But I don't know what it's doing. But anyways, you'll click that. It'll take you here. All you have to do here is click on this file. And it'll start downloading. I'm already downloading it, so I'm going to go ahead and... Or, I'm already downloading it. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to cancel it. Um, I saved it to my desktop. Yes, I know, it's a nice wallpaper. I'm, I'm still pumped about it. But it's right here. I already have it installed, as you can see. But, you can still install it again. So if you're using Windows 7, it'll ask you the whole spiel. Go ahead and click yes. This installer will come up. I'm going to go ahead and click next. It's already installed, reinstall the same settings. Sure. Because if I didn't do this, it would be a shorter video. This may take a bit of time though, but I'm sure I can cut it if it takes too long. Or you can just get the, uh, you know, the whole experience of the install. Um, we'll go back real quick. Yeah, the file's not too big, it's 336 megabytes, so it might take you a little while unless you're using like cable or whatever it is is the fanciest internet these days. Maybe you're using T1. I don't know. I just have crappy DSL, six megabytes down. It's it's uh it's adequate. But we're almost done here. And when that is done, I'm believing that everything should be good to go. Uh, with this, you can use a Xbox controller. 
I have my wireless Xbox controller set up. Uh, I don't know if you'll need to change any uh, controls. Um, I'm not entirely sure where the settings for that are at the moment. They might be in-game. Here's an I ya Done. Completed. But uh, it, it's pretty much plug and play, I think. Um, we could start it, but we won't start it right now. We might in a little. Uh, we, we can be the readme. Um, probably nothing here I really feel like looking at. But, if you feel like there's something you needed to read in there, go ahead and pause the video. Because that's an advantage of being a video. Anyways. That's pretty much it. You will... Um, for the first time, I would just try to run this as administrator. I seem to have some problems the first time I did it. It didn't want to start up. You'll get this, uh... I don't know what to call it. A launcher, I guess. Apparently I had an update. It'll say 09. It's a little outdated. Maybe there's newer ones or something, but anytime I've played, this is what comes up. Um... As far as options go, that comes up, but then you get your options. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, screen format. The first thing you're probably going to want to do if you have a widescreen is switch it to widescreen. This was something that was implemented a few days ago. Not a few days. Like a month ago, maybe. Maybe two. Maybe a month and a half. We'll go with that. So you can get all these fancy widescreen resolutions. I just use 1280 by 720 because it's easy to record and render out. 32-bit, which is the highest. Windowed mode, so, you know, I'm not full screen it, which I probably could, but no big deal. High-end. I think even if you have a crappy computer, you should be able to handle high-end. If not, low-end's not too different. You only get two options with sound, on and off. So if you use Windows 7 and you're planning on recording this maybe, you can use your mixer. That's what I use. It's very helpful. Font English, I don't know, there's nothing there. And I've been meaning to click that because every time I go into the game I have to re-enter my username and password and I'm a lazy American. So that's good to know. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. I don't mess with the custom skins. You may need to look up that if you want to do something like that. There's some out there that are like PSU looking. There might even be some PSO2 ones now. I think there are. I think I saw a few. Um, there are a few differences with this server compared to the US PSOBB. Um, they are all here, like fully unlocked teams, no need to register points to unlock dressing room and other features. So now you don't have to spend your points or whatever it is to just change your character if you want them to. It's not a big deal. The drop rates have been balanced, which is cool. So they're a little different now. And if there's something you've been wanting forever, like on the GameCube version, or even uh, the US version of BB. You may want to check the drop chart out just to be sure because you might be hunting for it forever and it might not drop because it's not there. Uh, rare item sharing. This is pretty cool. Um, what happens, it, you know, it's like, I guess if you play uh, certain other MMOs, you can set a rare drop to either go like randomly to someone because or, you know, like in an order, but in the original PSO, if you saw a rare box, one of those rare red boxes, and you picked it up, it was yours. Didn't matter if it, you know, doesn't work for you, it's not something you need, it's yours. Of course, you know, you don't want to be a dick, so you'd probably give it to whoever needed it, but this makes it a little more MMO-like. Uh, there's definitely the new content from the Japanese stuff. It, I believe, is in Japanese still, or it might look like some kind of wing dings or something. I'm not sure. Uh, multiple version server. 
This is pretty cool because I actually tried this with my GameCube back in the day. You can get onto their server and you can chat with people that are playing the PC version, the GameCube version, uh, BB. You just cannot play games with them. It's pretty cool. Like, here's all the supported versions Dreamcast, Dreamcast version 2, the GameCube games, like 1 and 2, 1 and 2 Plus, Card Revolution, which is episode 3. Uh, online version 2 for PC and Blue Burst. So that's pretty cool. And uh, as you can see here, there's 146 people on, so that's that's about normal from what I've seen lately. Um, that's really about it. If you need any help with it, uh, go ahead and send me a message. I can try to help you out. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm not an expert on it. I just play the game. But maybe something goes wrong with your installation. I can try to troubleshoot for you. Maybe. We'll see about that. And in case you're wondering what that song is, it is Trick Track Part 2 Extended. Have I really been talking for 10 minutes? I mean, it's 11, but still, I'm just rounding it down. That's ridiculous. That's like episode length. So I think on that note, I will catch you guys later. Maybe I'll see some of you in game. <laughs>